Hello you guys, this is signing out and I know it is very soon since I last did my other video but like I said, now I have an ASMR microphone so you have just to get sick of me <laughs> and love it So, um, today I just um, wanted to just casually talk things and uh, situations and realizations and all that I have been having lately and uh, also a certain matter that keeps bothering me and I just want to discuss it with you guys because I keep seeing it online um, but um, I don't know I mean of course I keep posting it on my Facebook profile but I don't know how people like you know my friends like you guys like because I haven't had the chance to really talk about it with others um, I have a fear about it and that is the um, uh, I think believe the name is the standing rock the one with the North Dakota pipeline I don't know I just uh, I keep hearing about it and um, first of all um, really totally against something that would be bad for nature because <laughs> I'm all pro nature um, but um, I was I, I'm curious like except for the companies that are actually um, going there to to build the thing um, who else is uh, supporting it and what is the purpose of that want to make a conversation and uh, see um, you know the reasoning of people perhaps that support it and the people who oppose it and just, just, just make conversation all of that and also I have a special and amazing um, playful I think that's the name I've played before with playful uh, in another ASMR video today it's gonna be entirely different since I happen to have this fella so it will be much more um, much more uh, of audible something like that audible I think S it will be much easier for you to hear it guys have seen this before and it's not the first time that I get to introduce you to my playful um, as you can see for the people who haven't ever got the amazing chance to play with one of those it's a little uh, tiny tiny little uh, sticky little balls no they're not sticky but they are uh, very small and they're colorful like very vibrant colors for instance this one this is greenish and this is sort of like peach peach color and uh, what that has is um, it has um, some sort of glue but it's not too strong so it doesn't get stuck on my fingers too much just a little fuzz um, and it's not strong enough to keep them um, like um, sta stable and without moving. It's more of like more of more of like something like fibers that if you pull it, they're still there, but they're not they're not um, um, this stable sort of thing. I have to be careful because my hair gets trapped in it and I have to pull it out it's a little bit <laughs> and 
it also has little um, sparkle paper I don't know how you call that I don't know if you can see it's like little it, it seems like sort of blackish but it's like little silver things oh the back of the face camera is actually more good than I expected it to be uh, either way so just wanted to also update you on a few things um, I told you in the previous video that my plan that's why I had to get my new ladybugs. Now my plants are doing so much better. I just have to be a good um, plant sister and to uh, get to be like uh, giving them lots of water and sunshine and then the other will be just perfect. And you know, keep my eye out just in case there is uh, all kinds of bugs and stuff. We don't want any of those things. And um, other than that, also, there's many, many of you that have been um, wondering about my white line that I have on my face. This is actually not something that is a uh, role playish. Uh, this is something that is my makeup, and I always, not always, um, like most, most, more often than not, I have it outside because it keeps a certain balance, which I find really nice. A certain triangle along with this and it um, not my eyes as well I just I just love that I find it to be very um, very me in the face that I'm going for right now I love that so with that said it looks like phones all together and then she will make like uh, a big ginormous oops sorry <laughs> a big ginormous like uh, bowl that is like a line from all the colors but then and then sandwiched in the most OCD font and uh, just stay there and watch them freak out all night as I try to like put it out you know to take them apart This is the fun part about having um, OCD people as your friends. I am a little myself. Sometimes. Sometimes. Um, sometimes it feels like, let's say for instance you're in a bad mood or you're frustrated and you don't know what to do and you just feel like organizing and cleaning the entire house and you just do that and then you instantly feel better. So these times I feel very much like an OCD person. I don't know if you guys get this. I think it's really cool. <laughs> um, see, see, some of them get stuck. <laughs> it's funny. Then I have to like double tap it in order for it to go down. Come on. Come on. Okay. So. to talk to you guys like I said about that thing the pipeline I'm not sure um, if somebody quite understands uh, what they are giving for what they are taking I feel that humanity is at the the bad end of the bargain in this way because giving away the health of our planet uh, because practically all these things end up in that and um, giving away the health of our planet and our and uh, all the trees the animals the water our brothers and sisters, everybody, the humans, um, for money, which is a concept practically. Um, I'm not sure, and it's not for money, it's uh, for greed. Um, 
so let's just say I will tell you let's say you're a billionaire but like uh, um, yes you know a duct of evil making 100 billion dollars or something like that or 500 billion dollars or whichever like amazing price that you would ever consider but for some reason you get to be trapped um, on some island and uh, there are um, or, or if some occasion happens and you're about to be eaten by a crocodile or something like that like there's no there's no amount of money you can give him uh, at this given time to actually get away from you or let's say that you're unhappy so in your life you get sick um, there's many like techniques and many doctors fixing stuff but um, it's been like uh, happening again and again that somebody who's been sick before um, if they continue having the same set of mind, sometimes they get sick again. If that set of mind is, uh, you know, uh, negative or like um, um, toxic to others and for them, because it doesn't only go one way, it goes the other way too. Um, so there is no amount of money that really can g get you away from things that are because it's it's something that I don't know how to I don't know how to put it because English uh, like I said again it's not exactly my first language but trading something that is for good something that eventually does make one suffer I don't see how one is at the good end of the bargain doing that um, the opposite uh, definitely um, I can say it from a perspective of a person like um, at some point I was um, I was uh, like all my life I was very ambitious my like for those who study those things my star sign is a, a Capricorn actually born on uh, December 25th so I'm a Christmas child and uh, that explains my name which I've given you uh, in another um, in another ASMR video my name is Christina um, so I have always been ambitious and I have taken many steps in my life because I was always ambitious and ambitious is an awesome thing and everything is an awesome thing at the end of the day as long as it keeps you happy as long as like truly truly happy and it doesn't make you sad everything is a good thing doesn't matter what it is um, I was um, I started when I first moved to New York, I started getting to the part where I was more of a greedy person. So I gave up a lot of things, like um, a lot of things, like projects that I would love to work at, uh, f for projects that were not so much interesting to me, just because they had greater, much greater uh, sums of money at the end of the day, at the end of the thing. But eventually, after working at them, like, or as usually um, with me, with illustration, I got paid 50% um, up front and 50% um, at the end. So it was great, like, in my mind, I was getting 50% up front, and then I was like, okay, now I will just try to enjoy this as much as I can and all. But I wasn't, like, not, not even near me of what I would like. So as time per p was passing and you know day after day I was working on those projects, I would feel like that time is not worth it. It's like I would totally prefer to spend my time doing something entirely different. And anyway, it's been a long time since then. Um, around a year, a year and a half even. 
and now I have um, I have this rule that I will only do as I feel, and uh, I will only take a project if um, um, if it's something that I would do even for free. Uh, not that I charge a free, <laughs> not that I charge no money. Of course, of course I charge. Uh, but if it's something that I would love so much that I would even do it for free, like uh, you know, in a in a different like a place or that sort of thing. So, um, and it it seems to me that there's many situations like my situation, and I'm sure that in many other situations I give away something that is more important for some some need that I think I have. But I don't really. Um, anyway, but I don't know if you're able to make any sense out of my ramble. But I really hope you do, so we can make a uh, conversation. And we can, um, you know, like a good conversation and talk about those things and uh, see how you feel about it. And um, we can carry on. But of them are more like um, loose, much more loose, they're not as dense, and other ones are much more of like that they can dance, they're much more like oh my god feels free, so take it out and everything. Um, I think that's something about them, I think maybe they use more glue on those ones or something. So this one, like the previous one, was more loose, and this one is more dry-ish. Oh, so, I also wanted to talk about my favorite movie. <laughs> so it's called uh, Pan's Labyrinth, and uh, it's by Guillermo del Toro. And uh, I don't know if you guys have seen it. You please, for I was just thinking about it like earlier, and uh, it just uh, dawns to me that it would be a great uh, thing to watch uh, again since it's around uh, 1:30 uh, and it's uh, Saturday. It's Friday night. <laughs> I see that you have been seeing Saturday, so I was like, hmm, that's interesting. Time passes. Um, of Mr. Del Toro that he always has amazing amazing ideas and amazing direction I love um, like for those who have seen it uh, or, or have seen like part of it I love the song I love uh, the entire thing it's like so beautiful and I love all the symbolism that they have like uh, used in the whole situation that it, it plays in many fields I just love that. Um, oh, and also, I have this idea about, um, like, I have talked before and I have said that I have this other one, tattoos on my body. I think it's more actually. I think they're around six. I have six tattoos. But now, it's the first time that I'm considering about doing something. something on my forearm and um, making it with colors and making it because I was thinking about designing something personalized but giving it that style and colors I don't know if you guys ever like um, have seen the Aztec gods um, I don't know the names exactly 
it's a coffee it's a coffee or something like that I like I was it was so much fun because like um, a few weeks back like a m- month and a half or even more um, I was going with uh, my roommate and his wife at the um, uh, what's the name of that band the end hood they're a really like upbeat and a nice band from South Africa so it was a lot of fun to go there and um, enjoy the dance and be crazy and all those things um, so we were driving there and we were playing this game where we would try to actually pronounce the names of the girls that got <laughs> and babies generally it was pretty funny, I can say that literally, very tra- tragically. Um, but um, that's not why the part that it was funny and we laughed a lot. Um, so my idea was to do that sort of uh, style of tattoo. months and I'm still not entirely out of it but I'm done with it um, as I was well I am um, what well I am is uh, not quite taking steps because one is um, afraid to do mistakes so even with tattoos uh, as brave as I used to be about them there came a phase for several months, I could say, and I'm still coming out of it, like I said before, that I was um, fiddling, oh, you know, I shouldn't do this, or I shouldn't take that responsibility, or I shouldn't take that step, because then that means that that will close me here, that will close me there, or, you know, what if I make a mistake, and then I want something different, or what if... So there were a lot of what ifs, which can be quite tiring. And eventually, it leaves somebody being so paralyzed and uh, mentally. And so, like, um, in the middle of the street, it's like, well, um, as much as as much as one wants to actually stay in the same position, you don't stay in the same position. No matter how scared you are to take a step. It's wise to take a step um, because I'm not saying like you shouldn't um, take your time to understand and everything, but don't be afraid because um, time passes, so things are not the same this moment as they were a moment ago. So everything does change. By not taking a step, you're not keeping the situation of yours frozen in time time still passes and you are still changing but you're not you're simply not choosing to take a step that's the only difference and you never know like uh, at some point maybe a year from now you will not have those chances you will have other chances but not those chances and you might have wanted those chances so I definitely advise you and myself think but also be brave because why not <laughs> so what like and what if you do a mistake so what what happened oh, what is the problem tomorrow is another day or the next year is another year I saw this on one video and I totally agree there is no problem there is no like um, I saw it was saying, yes, because um, a mistake is a teaching. Yeah, a mistake is a teaching. So, allow your mistake to be a great teaching. Don't allow it to scare you or anything. So, feel as if 
uh, no matter what happens, I still win. Because um, let's say one decides to to go ahead and um, um, what do you think? Do something that they're afraid to do, but uh, they feel like they want to do. But at the same time, they're scared because they're thinking about you know the result. You know. Well, uh, that uh, like let's say there's two situations that can happen. One, you can get what you wanted, and two, you cannot get what you wanted, but you get a teaching out of it. So in both, so and that is not not to try, but that might be practice more or something like that. Um, so in both situations, you're you're a winner. So it's not it's a win-win situation either way. Um, even if you lose, you win so many things so why not because um, you will not be as you are right now forever I mean you will evolve go ahead and that's it um, I want to thank you so very much for continuing to be my patrons uh, you've been extremely kind to me I was thinking about a little bit of um, the awards and maybe making like um, smaller um, ASMR videos for smaller sums of money um, so that it would be like all kinds of categories and that I was thinking about that well you can always click uh, down at the description and you get to see if I did eventually or not Thank you so much for uh, uh, watching my videos, choosing me to get to your likes. Uh, thank you so much for liking them and uh, making conversation and arguments, which I really, really love. And uh, if you have any ideas for um, ASMR or for more plays, because I am definitely going to make lots of those um, please let me know at the comment section below and uh, with that said if you feel like uh, you would like to support me and you can totally do on my patreon page um, I have to say those things because I'm trying to let myself be free to do like a, a f a every after every video because I try to pick myself up in this um, um, world, the ASMR world. So excuse me if I get repetitive uh, about that. Um, and if either way, I just uh, want you to know that I love you. And uh, I really hope, I really, really hope you are as kind to yourself as you are to the person you love the most. I love you again, the person, dog, and cat of Leto. So, I love you again, and uh, have a nice, good night, or a beautiful, good day. This is Kumi signing out.